it's the next morning and uh, normally when I'm doing the cactus juice thing I've got my toaster oven set up right here and plugged in at this time I'm a little bit behind still got this thing in the way but I wanted to uh, talk about it just a little bit and I was finding that uh, at least I think that this was just a little bit too aggressive on those little plastic bottles in fact I was noticing where these little dowels even though I had rounded them over with sandpaper uh, they had begun to wear into the sides of the little plastic bottle after about a minute of shaking and uh, well you can imagine what would happen if one of those sprung a leak uh, anyways one of the viewers said he was waiting for me to have a, a, a green workshop uh, probably more green he meant than already is uh, <laughs> so I've got some uh, pulleys and a mandrel. This mandrel is left over from a homemade table saw that I made about, I'm guessing, uh, over 40 years ago. No, about 40 years ago. And I save pulleys and belts and stuff like that so I can easily gear it down so that it'll probably turn only half or even less than this speed. And that should be enough. If it, if it does turn slower, I can just have it set up in a way that it will shake further if you know what I mean anyway I was on uh, Turntex website this morning and uh, Turntex are the guys that that make this uh, cactus juice stuff that's in here and uh, apparently there's two different kinds of dyes there's the alumilite dye which does not say that it won't work with cactus juice but then there's cactus juice dye that says it won't work with alumilite uh, so I'm wondering if possibly I'm using the wrong kind of dye or if possibly I'm not going to uh, I'm not using enough of it I've got a sneaky feeling that uh, when I take this out I'm going to be disappointed yes the tinge of green is going to probably be better but I think it's uh, still going to be as you might say lacking so anyway let's get this cleaned up here get our toaster oven plugged in. I like to have it run for at least an hour to make sure it's stabilized and it's not too hot. Uh, yeah, let's get going here and we'll pull this out and we'll see what we've got. While we're watching this, which is identical to a couple of episodes ago, might be a good time to mention a comment that one of the viewers made. And his comment was in the form of a question and he says, why don't you drill out the uh, blank first for the brass tube then do the cactus juice problem process and you know the thinking is that you would not only have the cactus juice coming in from the outside you'd have it being pressed from the inside uh, yeah it makes a lot of sense and I can honestly say I had thought of that over two years ago when I first started using this stuff and um, at, at first I thought well uh, the, the problem is when I when I have to drill out redrill the hole and I would have to redrill the hole because the hole not only would the wood swell and the hole get smaller but the uh, cactus juice would cake on the inside of the and get crystallized on the inside of the hole so you'd have to redrill it out and I would never get the second hole drilled at the same trajectory as the first one uh, now there there is a solution in a way drill a smaller hole only half the size and uh, yeah then <laughs> surely I can get it at the same trajectory as a smaller hole more or less and I think that might work and maybe I'll try that sometime you know that uh, might make for a very short series like a one episode series for a change anyway uh, that's so I hope that answers that question what makes me think this isn't going to work too good this time is you notice that the dye is not staining my fingers permanently it's just wiping right off one thing I want to mention here that uh, Curtis at Turntex uh, recommended not sealing something like this up tight for some reason. Something to do with spontaneous uh, setting, I guess, or it wouldn't be spontaneous comb combustion, but it'd be something like that. Um, now I don't know what the thinking is behind that, but I'm, you know, just accepting the fact that he knows what he's talking about, so I don't put the lid on tight but I do put it in the fridge well maybe I'm going to be proven wrong here and this is one time I don't mind being wrong let's see what color the shavings are that come out of here
Well, I guess you probably noticed, like me, that when it first started at the end, it was a nice blue color, and then it became just normal color. Then as it started sucking up the shavings from the bottom end, it got blue again. I've got a theory. As the cactus juice is being pressed through the wood, the wood is filtering out the dye. Is that possible? Now, if this wood is filtering out the dye, I should be able to see it. So I'm going to take a little tiny, not even a half a drop, and I'm going to put it on a slide. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is not my shop microscope. Uh, th this is the uh, kind that you use if you want to see blood cells. And I've never seen blood cells with it. However, if I keep putting my finger too close to the blade, maybe I'll get a chance, okay? Um, sorry if that sounded rude. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll give it a whirl here. I'll start out at about uh, 100 power and then I'll move up to 400 power. If I can't see it at 400 power, uh, it, it probably my theory's uh, all wet. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Just take a little drop, put it on a slide and take a look. I'm not going to hook my camera up to this thing because it's just too darn much work. You'll have to take my word for it. I'll tell you. If, if there's nothing there, I'll tell you. If there's something there, I'll tell you. Anyway. Give it a whirl. Okay, I think I should be able to see anything there. Well, I was expecting to see a bunch of little blue particles sort of floating around in a clear liquid. Nope. All I could see was solid blue. Maybe if I was able to move in a lot closer and knew how to work this thing better. Uh, yeah. I know I was focused right because I got a little tiny hair that's suspended in the, uh, in the stuff here. And I focused on that and then I was able to tell, yeah, I'm, I'm in focus all right, I'm looking in the right area. But uh, I just couldn't see any little blue pieces. So the uh, thought that these things are filtering out the dye, nope, must be something else. Maybe I'm not getting the dye forced in there. Maybe the idea of uh, drilling the hole first and coming at it from both sides is maybe worth a try. But I'm kind of getting sick of this, to be honest with you. I'm going to uh, go back to the Illumilite. And, uh, well, I might, uh, I might turn these down yet. That's going to have to be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>